Okay, so we want to export these textures here. So we're gonna now take here this here, export manager. I'm exporting to this export root path. This is where I'm gonna export my textures to. So, and you can go in here and uh, select, for example, another location, but I'm just gonna my, take my snail textures here and hit choose. In my case here, I don't have anything set up here. So we, we will do that. So add new export item. So we wanna have my base color, specular, roughness, bump, metallic and this. These are the textures that I will export out. So I'm gonna hit add here. And you can see here, you also have new now this color space here. So this is good to have a look at what type of textures you're gonna export out. You see here, size, they all gonna be 4K. Mine here is picking up a name here already. Normally, if you haven't exported this before, you're gonna have something like this in most cases. You're gonna uh, say here, dollar channel will capital udim exr, for example. This will construct the name, it will take the base color and essentially add the udims, so like 1001, 1002, etc., and add the exr in the name. And if you hover over this, if you essentially hover over this field here, you can see the available options. So what I like to do is to go in here and after the channel have an underscore and then type dollar color space. This will bake in the active color space. In my case here, it will take this the linear here. And that can be an option when you, for example, convert your textures. If you have a texture manager like I do in RenderMan, it will look for this color space here and then you can further automate, for example, if you want to convert these textures into ACES, for example. That's a very common color space in visual effects. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this one in here essentially into all my file names like so. You could go in here and say, I want to override channels to, for example, 2K or, or something. I'm going to leave that. You can also override bit depth. I'm going to leave that as well. And color space, obviously, I want to export my textures as linear and I want to bake the color space. So everything here is essentially set to go. You could also select patches, for example, go in and select uh, one patch and say only selected. I want to export all. I'm gonna now essentially say export all here or current, it doesn't matter. This is essentially if you would have multiple objects, if you would say export all, it will export multiple channels for multiple objects. In my case, I only have one object, so it doesn't really make any difference. Let's say export all. So I've already uploaded textures to this here on my Gumroad and, and you can download them for free here. Or you can give a small donation here uh, to keep my channel going. You will get color, metal, specular roughness, spec, bump and displacement. And now in the coming uh, couple of episodes, we're gonna take a look at this from a texture perspective where we can apply this into a DCC like Houdini or Maya.